Hi, welcome to Brionis Pickleball. My name is Jordan Brionis, and in today's video, we're going to go over three huge mistakes that you're making on your third shot drop. Now, let's jump right in. All right, so the third shot drop, obviously a very, very key skill and a key shot that you're going to need as you are raising up in that 3-5, especially to that 4-0 level. All right, so these are three huge mistakes that I think players are making, which is really making their shot inconsistent and also just making it a lot harder for them to hit accurate shots. So that's what we're going to go over today and I'm going to start here at the baseline and we're going to go over the three right now. All right so mistake number one you are either hitting your third shot drop neutral or your body momentum is kind of stagnant or even worse you're hitting your third shot drop with your momentum falling back. This is a really really important thing because our control comes when we are moving in or we have a slight body momentum moving forward. So I have uh, my wife Katrina over here. I'm gonna demonstrate this. Okay, so here we go. She's gonna feed a couple here. Okay. 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 All right, so this is a very, very important key tip, is to have your momentum moving forward. A lot of times I see this scenario where players are serving, or maybe you're the server's partner and that return is coming back. And if you are getting deep returns, like right here, or maybe closer to the line, you are going to now have to hit this ball backing up or falling back with your momentum going backwards because the ball is right in front of your feet. So one little quick tip and suggestion is to, after the serve, hang back a few feet. So even if that ball lands that deep, we are still hitting our shot, moving in and with our momentum moving forward. Because at the end of the day, our goal is to get up to the non-volley zone line. So one reason why you should be hitting with your momentum moving forward is that's where we are going to go so that you don't have to hit and then move. You're hitting with your momentum moving forward and then you can go to the non-volley zone line. Hi, if you're really liking this content, go ahead and give this video a like. It really helps us out. Now, let's get right back to the video. All right, so now let's jump to huge mistake number two. I see lots of players making when they're hitting their third shot, and that is they are hitting their third shot right off the bounce, off the rise, or too close to their body. Now this kind of goes hand in hand with the first one, but this second tip specifically is to practice getting your footwork in position so that you can hit that ball nice and out in front and you can have your momentum moving forward, okay? So like I said, if these balls are pressing you at the feet here and in this ball, let's say the ball is bouncing right here close to the line, there's no way that you cannot take this ball off the rise, okay? You're gonna be forced to do that. So, like I said in the first example, um, it's really, really important that you either give yourself some room, or if you're standing here and that return is coming back, one thing you'll see good players do is they will adjust, they'll move backwards, adjust their footwork so that they can hit their ball nice and out in front and they don't have to hit it right off the bounce or off the rise and they're moving in on their shots. All right, so there is really a big difference on hitting that ball right off the bounce or on the rise as opposed to letting that ball bounce, slow down slightly, and then you're catching it towards the apex as it slows down. Now, this is really, really going to transform your third shot and it really starts with the footwork. So especially on those deep balls, I'm going to want to come back and then make sure I'm hitting out in front. I have nice spacing, right? I don't want to 
hit my third shots really close to my body. I want to hit it nice and out in front. Same thing with my backhand. If I get some really, really deep balls, maybe I slightly adjust with some small adjustment steps and then I can lean in and move forward through my shot and have my momentum going forward with a nice contact point. Now, you are at times for sure going to have to hit a half volley when they're pressing you or, or when your opponents are hitting good shots. But ideally, I would want that ball to sit up, slow down a little bit, head towards this apex, towards the highest point, and then I could hit it and come on it. Okay, so here we go. All right, so now let's jump into huge mistake number three, and that is I see players hitting their third shot drop like a ground stroke, okay? They have a huge backswing, and they're trying to drop their shot when they're hitting it more like a ground stroke or a power shot. Remember, a third shot drop is a lift. It's a low to high motion, and I'm lifting from low to high. So yes, I'm going to definitely have some backswing, but I want you more to think lifting up or pushing that ball up, getting under that ball, and lifting it up. Now, there are a variety of third shot drops. Obviously, you can hit with underspin, you can hit with topspin, but in this example, I'm just doing a nice push or lift third shot drop. So now I'll show you a couple good examples of a good third shot where I'm coming under the ball, getting my paddle underneath, and lifting that ball up. All right, so those are the three most common mistakes that I see players making with their third shot. Now remember, this shot is not easy. So if you're still struggling with it, don't worry about it. You gotta get out there and you gotta drill it. I've hit thousands and thousands of third shot drops. And that's why today I could say that I could hit it with really good accuracy and also consistency, okay? So get out there and practice. Make sure that you are doing all these things and you will get a lot more consistent with your third shot drop. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. For more awesome pickleball tips, head on to brionispickleball.com. If you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit that little bell icon so that you can be notified every time we release a new video. Lastly, for a complete drill workout routine that has really helped me throughout the years, go ahead and check out the link above and also if you are in the phoenix arizona area i offer lots of clinics here so go ahead and check out the link below thanks so much and we'll see you in the next video